then welcome. Today we are doing a full beat down using all drugstore products, okay? You can still get this flawless look with using inexpensive products. Yes, you can. It's true. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you would love to see how I achieve this look, then stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, my love. So first, I'm going to start off by using my Dewy Luminix um, Wet n Wild Face Primer. And this is a dewy tint to it. Ah, it's too much. I don't really like my foundation looking so matte. I like having that dewy finish. I already had a moisturizer on that was a little dewy. Um, but now just I'm just gonna make sure I rub this all in. Alright, so now that's all blended in. I'm gonna go in with my Fawn Concealer by LA Girl. This is their Pro Concealer. And I'm just gonna put that over my um, mustache area to cancel that out. Um, and I'm just gonna take a beauty blender to blend that out. And y'all, excuse me, um, my brows are ridiculous right now. This coronavirus, I try to do them and put makeup on it, but I still can see all the flaws in there okay but yeah all right so now we're going to just blend all that out the foundation that i take is maybelline matte and poreless love this foundation this is one of my fave drugstore brands and drugstore foundations all together i'm taking the shade 355 coconut in the center of my face i'm going to take juvia's place foundation and this is in nairobi um this is drugstore because you can find this at ulta I'm just gonna take that on the center. Little goes a long way with this foundation, which is a good thing. Um, the Maybelline foundation is usually more sheer to me. Now that I've tried other foundations, but it's still really good foundation. You could build it up. To blend all this out, I'm gonna go in with my Instant Cheek Brush. And this is from Real Techniques. It's gonna start From the center of my face and then blending my way out the sun keeps going in and out stop playing sun i need you just get a little brighter in here okay so for my concealer i like to take a brush to help blend this out so I'm just gonna take this Coastal Scents like flat concealer brush, and I'm gonna take that LA Girl Pro Concealer, and I'm gonna start by putting this on the edges under my eye. I just think that this helps with blending underneath the eye, putting on a shade that's closer to my foundation or my skin tone. Using a brush, it helps give me more control instead of just going in with a whole bunch of products. Boom. So now I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place Concealer. And I love this concealer. Um, this is in the shade 13. And I'm just going to use this in the center. And as you can see, this wand is so big, you can get carried away so fast. Um. So yeah. I'm just gonna take that brush again and just put this, take some off the brush, and put it right in the beginning to brighten up that eye. Put some on my chin, down the bridge of my nose, and a little on my forehead. So I'm just gonna highlight the um, center of my face, that's where the light will usually hit. I'm gonna sit this there while I'm going to contour. So I'm gonna take this Luxie Dual Fiber Powder Brush, but um, I actually like using it to put on this Black Radiance um, foundation stick that I use as concealer, and this is the shade Espresso. And what I do, I just take a little bit because this shade can go left real quick. 
and I just like to pounce it. As you can see, that was a little bit. You already can see um, a lot of product. So I just like to take some on my brush and then contour my cheekbones. my forehead a little under my chin um, I love taking this morphe setting spray but if you feel like this is a little bit too pricey for you, you can go in with the Milani make it last setting spray and it's also I think this is so long. it just came out like so you can also use this and then just take your blender to help uh, blend out that couture so you don't see any harsh lines. So we do not want that. Take a little bit more if you need to. Goodbye. And now for the concealer, I'm going to take my Real Techniques um, setting brush. As you can see, I love Real Techniques brushes. They're really affordable. Um, price can't beat it if you can get it from the drugstore I'm just gonna blend this out I'm gonna start blending out the edges this brush just helps everything look how easy that just blended out with that brush I'm taking my sponge that I got from Fancy and Fab. Yeah, you could get this off of Amazon. I'm gonna lightly tap underneath my eyes. Because you don't want all of your product to go away. So just lightly tap. I don't really have enough. I mean, this is affordable, but you can't go into the store and buy this. Um, but I heard Maybelline's um, powder is very good. Um, but this is a shot of buttercup, and I'm just gonna go with my brush and just lightly tap product on there. Whenever you blend out your concealer, make sure you put powder on right away so you don't get any creases. And I like to take my sponge and just do my smile lines. I tend to crease there a little bit. Just a little. So of course my phone just died in the middle of all this. I mean not my phone, my camera. I just put on some liner and this is the new NYX Epic Wear Waterproof Liner and I actually love it. Um, and I also just put some, I'm running out of mascara. Um, it's so dried out now so my lashes not even hitting like they usually do. <laughs> But this is the Maybelline Big Colossal Big Shot Mascara that I use all the time. Um, great drugstore mascara and liner. This liner is the best liner I've ever used as well. Um, so yeah, the only thing that I don't really have drugstore here um, was my powder. This I use for my face, all over my face. Um, I really don't have a pressed powder that I really like from the drugstore. Once I use this from Sephora, I never turn back. Um, so yeah. So I just uh, brushed away that powder while my camera died. Um, so yeah, I just took like a Real Techniques brush. I brushed away the uh, Sasha Buttercup powder and then I pressed on that Sephora powder to get some color back into my skin. Now I'm gonna take my Morphe spray to break up all that powder I just love this spray like it's so worth it 16 I think it's 16 bucks but it's so worth it I usually get it from um, Ulta when they have their two for like $22 and what you better y'all better hop on that for blush I like to take the Milani's blush and tea rose y'all know this is like my fave blush I just love that pinky tone and I'm just gonna place it right on the cheeks. Actually, I just messed up. I don't usually do this part yet. <laughs> but since my camera died, it got me all everywhere. So a drugstore um, 
con a drugstore contour palette I like using is the Black Radiance Contour Palette in medium to dark. And as you can see, I used to love this shade right here. I hit pan, okay? I love that shade. I hit pan. Um, so I'm just going to lightly take it in my Morphe M405 and just contour. And I just go in a little bit with that contour shade. Goodbye. Just a teeny, teeny bit because that shade can go left real quick as well. Then I just take the remainder powder on my forehead, the sides of my nose, and on my chin. Perfect. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Now I'm gonna go on my Master Chrome Highlighter. This is in the shade Molten Gold 110. And I'm just gonna take my fan brush in here. And it gives me a really good glow. Wow, okay. I don't even dip a whole lot. I like taking it on my nose. Yes, I like having a shiny nose. A little bit on my forehead, because y'all know I like to be glowy. A little bit on my cute face. face is beat, okay? You can have a beat face with drugstore. Do not sleep on drugstore products. I'm going to take my lip liner. Um, this is Pixie's lip liner. Um, actually, a silky eye pen. Um, but I like using it as a lip liner. I usually use my NYX liner in um, brown, but I have no idea where that is right now. So, um, yeah, NYX liners are awesome. Wet n Wild gel liners are awesome, and Milani lip liners are awesome as well. So, check those out for your drugstore um, lip liners. Now I'm just going to take the NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie, and this is, I love it. It's like that pinky nude, and I'm going to go back over the brown. Alright, so that's the completed look. Um, I'm looking dewy, nice and beat and glowy all at the same time. Mm -hmm.